Hello everyone. This video is about Clipper. This is one of the application of PN junction. The Clipper is the circuit that removes some parts of the input waveforms. And there are many kinds of Clippers. The first type is series series clipper and then shun clippers and then double end clippers and to begin with let's uh, talk about series clippers the simplest series clippers is just like the uh, halfway rectifier so suppose you have a you have a sinusoidal input voltage say V in and V in is equal to uh, U sine V omega T and this is going to be the easiest one. The output is to be measured at this point, V0. And the output voltage represents uh, the voltage divided voltage of this one here, V dash. So suppose the waveform of the input voltage is somewhat like this. The positive and negative um, the positive peak and the negative peak is plus and minus u. And uh, in the positive half cycle, the current cannot go through this time. There won't be any currents going through the resistor R1 and R2. So if there isn't any current going through R2, there shouldn't be any voltage at the output during the positive half cycle. So the output voltage for this circuit should be zero during the positive half cycle. In the negative half cycles, the current goes this way. So the diode is conducting and there will be a voltage drop here. The output the uh, V dash at the, in this case is going to be uh, V dash and then um, um, U sine omega T and then um, 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a constant. So the peak voltage of V dash should be equal to uh, U uh, minus zero point seven. Okay.
So in the negative half cycles, you still get the sinusoidal half cycle at the output, but the the, uh, the peak is going to be rho minus 0 0.7, and do not forget that uh, it is the voltage divided, voltage after the voltage divider. So R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And uh, because you have clip off the positive half cycle, each circuit is also called serious positive clip off. You can change this clip off to from serious positive clip off to serious negative clip off. The procedure is very diff very simple. All you need is change the direction of this time, change the orientation. And suppose the diode is pointing to the right in this manner. And the current in this case the current in this case is not zero during the positive half cycle because it is conducting. During the positive half cycle, the current goes this way and the diode is pointing this way, so the current, the diode is conducting currents. And in this case, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, just now the, uh, the negative peak should have a minus sign here. Sorry about that. And um, the output for this one should be should be like this for the positive half cycle. And during the negative half cycle, the dial is not conducting, so it is an open circuit. So you will have no current during the negative half cycle. During the positive half cycle, there, there will be a voltage conducting. There will be a voltage developed here. And this is the built-in junction voltage. And the tip here, the peak here is going to be U uh, minus 0 0.7 and then times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is all about the the series clipper and you can also change the clipper by adding the battery battery in series with the time. So in this case, for instance, you have a voltage here, so we can increase the voltage. So if we do that, then we will have U minus 0 0.7 minus V0 at the output. 
uh, as a peak in the uh, positive half cycle, the output. So in this scenario, we will have u minus v naught. So there is another category of uh, clipper. In this one, we don't uh, modify the wave track. And the second one that we are going to talk about is shun, shun clipper. In a shine clipper, you will have a circuit like this. R1, and you will have a dial in here. So suppose the input voltage, the waveform of the input voltage is the sine of the one given by u sine omega t. Then at the output, Suppose you have a column uh, going to the, in this direction. So in a positive half cycle, the column goes this way. The diode is conducting. So we will have uh, a voltage the voltage developed across the dial, the voltage will, will be like this, 0 0.7 volts for silicon. And if it is a germanium diode, then the Billing Johnson's voltage will be 0 0.3. And what you measured here is the Billing Johnson voltage for this dial. So you will have a waveform like this for the positive half cycle. And the peak here is going to be 0 0.7. And in the negative half cycle, the current goes to the opposite direction. And if this is the case, the diode is not going to be conducting. It is literally an open circuit. So you end up with only resistor R1 and R2 in the circuit. We can ignore the diode. The output voltage will be the voltage divided voltage from the input. So in this case, uh, the input voltage for the negative half cycle will be sinusoidal. The output will also be sinusoidal for the negative half cycle. But the peak here is going to be scaled very it will be uh, uh, u uh, v in and then r2 divided by r2 plus r1 so this is going to be the negative peak and of course 
you can reverse the direction of the dial and we end up with something uh, similar. For this shortcut, we have clip off the, the positive peak. So we can say that this is a positive peak clipper. And because it is a shunt clipper, uh, we can also call this shunt positive clipper. And uh, we can also call this parallel clipper. Parallel positive peak clipper. And now, um, the problem remains. In some applications, we want the, the, the peak to be a little bit higher. For this scenario, uh, we have the voltage across the dial pointing up. Uh, so uh, the positive is here, the negative is here. Uh, that's how you end up with the voltage in the positive peak. Right? But sometimes you only clip a little bit of uh, the peak, uh, not that much. For instance, uh, if you want to clip only a little bit, suppose like this. This is what you want. And what should we do? What we can do is we can add the voltage here. Add the battery here. And the battery is um, is pointing this way. So in this case, uh, when the during the positive half cycle, the current go go here, and the dial itself will be conducting because it is a forward bias, and the, when the voltage is uh, about zero point seven plus this voltage, V0 or VB, we send VB stand for the bias voltage. Then uh, the output will be the voltage 0 0.7 plus uh, VB. Uh, uh, I mean, the maximum voltage of output will be VB plus 0 from 7. So in this case, uh, I will have a peak here. And the peak here is going to be uh, VB uh, plus 0 0.7. And of course, um, if you want to clip the output waveform in the opposite direction, you can also do that. What you need to do is just to reverse the, the direction of the dial and the battery. And if you do that, So, sorry, um, I may not have enough space here. Yeah, let's continue here. What you can do is we can do this and R1 and the in the same voltage and the dial will be connected with the pointing upward instead of downward in this case. And 
we can also change the orientation of the battery here. So we pass this pointing down. Now, um, in this case, uh, if you have an output, if you have an input, like this one here, the peak is going to be plus and minus u. In the positive half cycle, the diode is not going to be conducting. So it is a an open circuit. And what you end up with is the output, the sinusoidal output. The peak here is going to be the peak U from the input and uh, scale down by R two divided by R one plus R two. So we will have U and times R two divided by R one plus R two. So this will be the peak voltage. It is a sinusoidal one and. Uh, if the voltage here is Vb, uh, in the negative half cycle, the diode is conducting. The peak voltage through this branch will be 0 0.7 plus Vb, right? The minus. Uh, so we will have a waveform. like this, and the peak is going to be cut off. The peak here is going to be 0 0.7 uh, minus bracket 0 0.7 plus Vb. Uh, this is what I think. And we have already talked about series, series creeper and shunt creeper. Now, uh, the next thing that we are going to talk about is double-ended creeper. In all the creeper that we have learned uh, before now, we have only creep in one direction. Just like in this case, only the, the positive peak is clipped and in this case the negative peak was clipped and the name for the second clipper here is shunned negative peak clipper okay uh, so it is shunned no 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 okay read the word shunned Apparently, uh, you cannot read it, huh? Oh. Maybe I need to... to remove all the text. Shunt negative peak clicker, right? This is the name for the shunt. And sometimes in most applications, we want the, we want the positive peak to be clicked. And also, at the same time, we don't want the 
negative peak. And what can we do? In this case, we allow the positive end unclick, the positive cycle unclick. So in order to modify the circuits uh, in a way that the output has the positive and negative and clip. All we need to do is to add another branch biofactory combination to clip off the positive end, the positive peak. So this is what you, you can do. Uh, in this case, the voltage will be going this way and the current go this way, then the voltage will be 0 0.7 here and we need another uh, peak voltage here. So suppose the peak voltage for this bound, for the second bound here is VB2. While the peak voltage for the um, for the positive half cycle is going to be VB1. What we are going to get here at the output It will be a, uh, it will be the uh, waveform with the positive and negative and negative peak clip. So in this scenario, in the positive half cycle, the current will go through this time, but not this one. So this one will be on and this one will be off. And when the diode battery combination on the left has columns, then it will clip at 0 0.7 volts for the diode and the overall, the overall voltage at the output will be a combination of VB1 plus, VB, uh, plus 0 0.7. So the output here will remain the same. But in the negative half cycle, the current flows in the opposite direction. The diode and battery combination on the left here will be off will be open circuits. And the one that is on the right will be on. So we will do this and the maximum voltage across the dial will be uh, minus 0 0.7. Okay? And the voltage here is minus E2. So in other words, in the negative half cycle, the peak for this case is going to be minus Vb, and this one is Vb1, and this one is Vb2. Uh, and the, the waveform will be like this. So in this case, uh, we have the positive peak and negative peak clip off. Uh, so you may just call this circuit shunted peak clip off. Okay? Uh, there's no such thing like positive or negative in this scenario. So this is the name for this circuit. Now, the problem here is we need two additional batteries 
to even the these shoppers. Fractured is an expensive item in electronic design. We don't want to waste too much money on the factory, right? And also, if you do that, then the, the electronic circuits will be very heavy. So what can we do? There are many ways to, to resolve the problem. We can only use the electronic components to build the circuits without any factories. And to do that, we need the circuits, another category. Of circuits. Uh, it is a double-end, double-end circuit, double-end people. And what we can do is use senior diet. Before going forward, I want to I want to tell you how the ID characteristic of a senior dial is like. The senior dial has this kind of symbol. And the ID characteristic is like this. And in the forward direction, you have something similar to the ordinary dial. And the uh, tunnel motor here is going to be 0 0.7 volts for the silicons. And for germanium dial, the tunnel motor will be 0 0.3. And the difference between senior dials and the ordinary dials lies in the sense that in the reverse bias, there is a breakdown, a breakdown voltage in the senior dial. The breakdown is so-called senior breakdown. And the breakdown voltage here it should be very close to the origin. So you will be have a breakdown and very, very, uh, very stiff big down here. And this one is lead. So this is the characteristic of the senior dial. You can either use uh, the tunnel motors or building junction motors to, to trigger uh, clipping at 0 0.7 volts. Uh, and on the other hand, you can also use minus um, EZ. You can also use the thinner voltage, thinner breakdown voltage to, to trigger the clippings. Uh, in this scenario, what we can do is use senior dial to to do this first. So if we do that, if we use the senior dial to implement these circuits, then uh, the voltage here will be positive and um, in the positive half cycle, the the dial is not conducting. Yeah, for the time being, let's talk about the negative cycle. In the negative half cycle, the current flow this way. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it will creep at uh, 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 um, 0 0.7 volts. or the negative half cycle. But in the positive half cycle,
the current flow this way. And for if the dial is the ordinary dial, then it will remain open circuit, regardless of the magnitude of the voltage here. But then this dial is not the ordinary dial. It is a senior dial. It has a big dial at V Z. So it depends on the value of V Z. If U here is uh, uh, bigger than V Z. So uh, if Uh, sorry, I should say like this. Yeah, V Z. Uh, so, uh, uh, we we have an assumption. You is bigger than VZ. Then the sub part of the uh, input waveform in the positive half cycle will be clip off and uh, the clipping will be at VZ. Okay, so this will be the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle is only 0 0.7 volts. So it will be like this, 0 0.7. So this is the waveform for this circuit. But now the topic that we are dealing with is double-ended. We want uh, the positive end to be clipped in this manner. And we also want the uh, negative half cycle to be clipped in a similar manner, instead of leaving the negative half cycle as 0 0.7 volts only. So what we can do is we add another dial here, another senior dial, and the other senior dial will be connected in the opposite direction. So in this case, it will be like this. Uh, and uh, suppose the upper one have senior dial breakdown voltage to be uh, VZ1. Uh, and the second one has the senior dial uh, breakdown voltage, senior breakdown voltage VZ2. And I also need to write down the, uh, the viewing junction voltage. The viewing junction voltage will be connected in this one. 0 0.7. And in this case, it will be 0 0.7. So if you connect the circuit in this manner, uh, the uh, senior dial, your, the senior dials are connected in uh, anti series. We will have the positive end clipped and the negative end clipped in a similar manner. So suppose the currents uh, flow in the positive directions and the output waveform for the positive half cycle will be, yeah, it depends on the, uh, on the current, the direction of current. So if the current go flow this way, the upper senior diodes will be off. 
the lower one will be on. If it is off, then uh, the triggering point will be handled. It will be dealt with by this senior breakdown model. So uh, V V1. And because the the bottom senior diode is on, the voltage here will be 0 0.7 volts. So the output voltage here will be this one and this one add together. So the clipping point is V V1 plus 0 0.7. Now uh, for the negative half cycle, we have the similar effect. The current will be flowing in the opposite direction. And in this case, the upper dial will be conducting and the lower one will be off. So on and off. So if it is the case, then the output voltage will be determined by this one plus this one. And it will be minus V V2 plus 0 0.7 volts. Uh, so this is the trick of the double-ended clipper made them be um, made them be senior diamonds. And in this case, we don't need a battery. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave your questions to the comments box. And uh, thank you very much for attending the lectures.